Uh, hello everyone, uh, here I would like to show you how to create a quiz, how to post it and how you will get the results from the students and how you will grade it. So first of all, you have to go to your class, whatever class you have, go to assignment. After assignment, you have to go to create and create a quiz. The quiz will open. You have to go for new form. When you go for new form, they will ask you, they will give you this screen. You have to go to new quiz. Don't go to new form, go to new quiz. And then you have to title your quiz. Let's say I'm titled, my quiz is uh, distance learning. And I have to write here distance, uh, I have to start maybe, I have to start the, the name is post lesson assessment dash distance learning or I will write maybe here science or uh, let's say chemistry and the topic distance learning. Now I will enter the description that dear Dear students, kindly fill all the questions or whatever instructions you want to give. Give clear instructions. One, two, three. Now this is my quiz I'm starting. Now I am to I want to add one question which is of text. So I will write here how do you come to school please don't forget to make question mark and the correct spelling and everything now this is your question now if you have a correct answer which students can give you correct answer and if it's a short answer like then you can click on correct add add answer and you can write here the correct answer is by uh, car if it is a short answer you can put correct answer if it is long answer no need to do that now let's add and i have to put point this is one mark question i have to put mark now let's go to and please make it required that child has to put all the answers otherwise he cannot submit so put it required he has to give the answer then only students will write all the answers next question i will put as multiple choice question so I will add that which fruit do you like the most and I can add so here I can put here grapes then I can put here the spelling is wrong so I can put here grapes then I'll put mango then if you want to add, always put four options. Don't go for two options. For S, E, and D students, we'll put two options. But for others, we'll make four options. And here I'll write uh, maybe a banana. Then I will add one more. That is, I will like, um, say, um, um, maybe mango, one more. Or maybe like uh, I can give watermelon. So this is my question again do not click here multiple answer do not click this because if you click this that means they can give more than one answer so always in multiple choice question it should not be only one answer again required then again there is one more question again one mark one more question text now here i want to give a descriptive questions like uh, i will say uh, what do you what uh, do you think about social service now here since this is a descriptive questions and a student can give any answer you cannot put correct answer here so do not add your answer here and 
use long answer they can write anything now in multiple choice questions always and always put your correct answer so correct answers will come here so this is how you create now suppose one more question i want to create here and it is about say uh, using some pictures so i will say uh, uh, see the picture and answer or and explain something i will write here okay and i can use here any picture from here let's say i'm using an image i can upload from my here i can upload this picture and open it this picture will come here if you want to add any question which has video then i can say that watch the video and video and answer the questions question now here this can be used for listening skill if you have listening skill you can put here upload uh, like video you can put link here and you can add up over here i don't have any uh, video right now so i'm not putting it so this is the way how you create your complete this uh, question paper and again if you want to give long answer long answer all questions should be required so all questions should be required the picture is uploading is still not uploaded but it will upload soon now this is completely question is created let me finish this if the picture is not uploading let me now it's uploaded so this question paper is created now what i'll do here i'll go for uh here the three dots right here i'll go for setting i have to write here if you want to give answers to your students you can go for that show result automatically the system will uh check your answers by itself but you have to go do this for small questions or multiple choice if you have question which is long do not use this uh, uh, feature then you have to write record name of course you need the record name but here you have to who can fill out this form you have to choose anyone with the link can respond because our students do not have email id so you have to choose anyone with the link can respond then go down further here now go for here accept responses now start date you have to put this date definitely suppose tomorrow i want to conduct this test i'll go for 3rd april and i will write the time when my class is there my class is at uh, say 9 am or say 9 am 10 11 am and date and date also i need on the same date but i want to finish it in one hour time let's say i will put here uh, it's coming at 12 p.m so one hour time i have to give less than one hour you cannot give so they have to finish in one hour so this start date and end date you have to enter then only after 12 o'clock they cannot submit then this is your done and you have to just share it after sharing here you can see that the link is here copy the link is copied now go back to your team go to assignment put here uh, uh, assignment now enter title whatever the post lesson assessment we have to put here post lesson assessment and post lesson assessment what was that chemistry and distance learning okay now i want to instruct here that uh, post lesson assessment assessment i'm so sorry assessment to be conducted at your class timing say what was my timing 11 a.m this was my timing class i will put that now i have here you can see the add link here i can put click link now i can paste my link which was there of my research it's here and put tick this is the link which is already there here now of your, your assessment is done 
your timing you have to put due time that is we put 12 p.m so i can put 12 p.m what i gave before that they cannot after that they cannot submit 12 p.m and then I will assign this test is assigned already now this test is already there now how the students will get this test I will show you now this was my class suppose this is my class I'll go to my class back my class was as a student I will see like this uh, a special class this is my class I'm a student I will go to assignment there were three assignments before, so I will see like this. I will open my assignment like this. And uh, once I see the assignment, okay. So once they submit the assignment, the students will submit the assignment. Then how will you see? Suppose Ms. Doha has sent me this assignment I created. She was my student. And she has sent me this assignment and I will see like this and when I open this turn in it will show me Duha has submitted this assignment to me what time she completed how many points zero now I can give the points out of two suppose she get two points here one point here then she got one point here in this question if I put my correct answer, it will check automatically. This You don't need to check that. One and point. Now it's finished. Now here, picture, I'll give her two points. And then if any remark I want to give to him, to her, maybe I can say, uh, please check the spelling or any remark you want to give for this question, you can give. Then you go further. What's happening here? Okay. Now this is done. Now what I do here, I want to post this for the child. There are three dots, can you see this here? And if I want to do some remark, overall remark, I can say that good work or excellent work or need to improve. Then I go to these three dots. After putting three dots, I have to put that post score and then post it. It will go to the student. So this is how you need to create quiz and when the students submit to you, you will get like this and you will give them marks and you again send it back to them. Thank you.